Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to add data connectors, specifically Blaze tables to your application. So in the Blaze application that you have pulled up, in this case, mine's Test Ryan, you have all connectors and you have configured. I'll cover all connectors in a different video, but for today, I'm going to focus on Blaze tables. Creating a new table is as simple as pressing this plus button and you can create this new table. Let's name this new table companies and you can start adding rows. So similar to a Google sheet, you can create new cell rows that contain information about whatever you want the information to be about. So in this instance, since we're talking about companies, we'll have the company name, we'll have the link, and we will have whether this company will be featured or not. Box. And we can also add founded do a date. And so then it's as simple as filling in this information. So in this instance, we'll say blaze is the company name. The link is blaze.tech. We do want this company to be featured in this date was founded on 05-05-2022. And so you can create this new table. You can add new rows of data and you can actually import and export all of the data from a CSV file. So if we really wanted to, we could import from CSV and we could add this Web3 companies and it automatically adds URL, featured, brief summary, et cetera, um, from a CSV file that I have. You're able to then take this information and you're able to display it anywhere in your application. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a later video. This is really powerful when you're trying to display things to your customers or you know, your internal team. This is a really easy way to start building your first application. And this is an essential part of using data in your app. So you can click save here. And now you have this new table for companies where you can view and edit at any moment. So this is the first video on how to manage your Blaze tables. I'm really excited to get into the next video on how I show you how to actually display this data throughout your application. So see me in the next video.